Alright people, welcome back to some more Fake Card Friday. So this fake card was sent to me by my friend Zeno Prodigy. You know him. He's joined me for live streams. He's made fake you bell cards and the fake you bell cards actually got programmed and played on YGO Pro. I'll bet only against the computer, but they were still fun nonetheless. So he sent me yet another fake card. This one's kind of on the nose that I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but you know what? He keeps on asking me. And also it has to do uh, in relation to another one, my friend Tago. So, you know, if anybody's an expert on this archetype, it's definitely my friend Tago. So, it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. So, today we're looking at Xenoprodigy's new fake card. This is Galaxy Eyes Alternative Photon Dragon. Just from that name, you kind of get a gist of what it does, and that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to do it because it was a little bit too on the nose, but we're going to do it nonetheless. So, it is a Light Dragon Effect Monster, level 8, 3000 attack, 2500 defense. Its effect reads, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by revealing one Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your hand. You can only special summon one Galaxy Eyes Alternative Photon Dragon once per turn this way. Surprise, surprise. It's just like Blue Eyes Alternative. It seems like I've done cards like this before. Because I believe I've done like a Red Eyes Alternative. And here's, you know, Galaxy Eyes Alternative. It just seems like any, you know, rival boss monster or, you know, just big dragon has to get an alternative form just because blue eyes got it. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And this card's name becomes Galaxy Eyes Flash Time Dragon while it's on the field or in the graveyard. Alright, so now let's actually get to the actual meat and potatoes of this card's actual own effect. I'm assuming similar to blue eyes, it's going to have its own standalone effect that makes it really good. Similar to how alternative blue eyes does. So, once per turn, during either player's turn. Okay, okay. You could banish one monster your opponent controls until the end phase. And if the monster was an XC monster, this card gained 500 attack for each XC material it had on it when it was banished. Okay, that, that effect's really, really, really good. Sure, the removal is only temporary, but being able to interrupt your opponent's plays during their turn is really freaking great. Like, if it was just during your turn, eh, not bad, you know? I'm going to summon this, I'm going to go ahead and banish. I'm kind of like regular... Uh, galaxy eyes, but no, the fact that it's during either player's turn, which means that I can interrupt my opponent's plays by just special summoning this guy and having him on the field, it's just great, you know. Just like, oh, well, I'm gonna go to Utopia and Utopia the Lightning and then try to attack over you, but like, uh, before you enter battle phase, uh, effect, go ahead and banish your Utopia the Lightning, he's gone and you know, lose all the X materials. I permanently gain 500 for each of the X materials gain. Then you come back, you Utopia Lightning with no X materials, and then during my turn, I'm gonna run your ass over with my, you know, my alternative Photon Dragon, who's not only much stronger than he was originally because I banished you and gained uh, attack all the X materials, but now you don't have any X materials to detach, which means that you can't, you know, activate your effect to go up to 5,000 and run your ass over. So. Yeah, you can clearly see that 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 during either player's turn definitely makes that that effect right there just so freaking great. It's, ooh, that interrupting your opponent's play. But this card's not done. It has more effects. So once per turn, you contribute the space up card you control. Put some in two level four or lower galaxy monsters with different names from your deck. You cannot put some in monsters except for cipher galaxies or photon monsters. The turn you activate this effect. You can activate this effect once per turn. So. I guess you could turn this into a rank four. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Uh, so photons, galaxy, or cipher. So two level fours. Well, I'm, the first thing that pops into your mind is Star Leech Lord Galaxion. You know, summon two photon monsters, level four photon monsters. But then all you would do is just summon Galaxy Eye Photon Dragon, which would just be the regular one. So I don't know why you do that. It's, it's, it's weird. It's just like, I already have, because technically this alternative counts as Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, then you tribute it to summon two level fours, but then make Lord Galaxy on it, and then summon Galaxy on I mean, I guess it would be more damage and deck setting, but still, you know, you're just kind of doing the same exact play that you already have. Plus, the regular uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in Star Leech Lord Galaxion don't have that interrupting kind of thing that the alternative, fake alternative does. I don't know. If you summon two Dragon type photon cipher and galaxy or whatever you can summon galaxy stealth dragon who came out and kind of was a whimper wasn't great because he's kind of difficult to summon and he only works for a particular archetype and he's not the best but I guess if this card is real and you can go ahead and do it and tribute off to summon two level four dragon type cipher galaxy or photon monsters then I guess he would be a little bit better 
you know, you can detach the material to go ahead and summon the dragon type monster from your hand. So if you do have the regular galaxy slots on your hand, which you will, because of course you revealed the special summon this, well, you should. I mean, you could have traded it off, but the fact that it remains, you, you might have it. But you can go ahead and summon that from your hand. Uh, once again, that's uh, 5,000 on board, just like with uh, Lord Galaxian, who would detach one of the materials, but summon that uh, proton dragon from your hand, or two to summon from your deck. Uh, and then, pretty much all the galaxy monsters you control would be protected, except for myself, uh, from being targeted or destroyed by card effects. It's not terrible, not terrible, and it's 5,000 on board. Or, if you want to be a real fucking G, you can go into photon popper off it. Let's go, all right? You know, target them face down defense boost monsters. Them defense boost monsters to attack. It's caught, uh, that monster loses 600 attack and go in. So, yeah, if, if you really want to be cute, you could do photon popper off it. But the fact that it remains is that that play, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Uh, and this card has one more effect. So this card can be treated as two extreme materials for an Xyz summon of a Galaxy Eyes XC monster. No. No, 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 no. Get that out of here. That's that broken anime effect shit. Get that out of here, fucking Reno. No. No. All right? It, it's, it's already easy enough that you can go ahead and just, you know, reveal special summon this. But why you gotta make it so it's just a one-card XC? Like, oh, yeah, because that's totally what we need. It's more fucking Zodiac. More one-card XC. No, 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 no. No. All right? Summon the other level eight and go into your head. Because this card would be just... Like, it would just reveal special summon this. This. Banish. Slap on freaking, you know, Cypher. Take if there's something to take. Slap on freaking uh, full armor. Pop. Slap on blade. Pop. You know. So with this one card, if you just spend something. You just kind of uh, remove three cards from your opponent's field. Like no, 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 no. Because it's the one card at sea without doing anything else. Like that. That last effect would not fly. That we've seen it in the anime where they kind of do that, but that that effect never flies when it comes to you know real life when you go. That's so why I'm gonna, I'm not gonna review this as an anime card. I'm reviewing it as if it's a real card that Konami made, TCG or OCG made today, and we're looking at it. And they would not put that. This card is treated as two extreme materials when you see someone in Galaxy Eyes mode. They wouldn't put that in there. They would not. So that effect is just kind of crossing the line right there. You know, like I said, if you want to go ahead and do some of your rank eight plays and summon another, you know, rank eight. I mean, level eight monster. Uh, which you can do easily, especially since this guy just kind of just popped out of your hand with an easy inherent summon of revealing a Galaxy Eyes Fall Town Dragon. But we already know how easy it is with freaking blue eyes. And, uh, you know, Melody can search uh, Galaxy Eyes Fall Town Dragon too. So there you go. Anyway, this card, there's some good things about it. There's some bad things about it. it like I said, I just didn't want to do it because it's a little bit too on the nose. It was too easy. But it's a fine card nonetheless. So, um,. Tiago, if you're in the comments section, go ahead and tell me what you think about this card. Do you think it's fine, OP, uh, write exactly what you would like? And uh, everybody else, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.